Hi everyone, it's Diane. I'm here to show you some things. I had mentioned in a video that I had gotten some new dies and stamps. I got a whole bunch of them from uh, Amazon. Not all in one batch, but these are the newest ones I have. And I haven't really done much with them, but I've been playing with them the last couple of days. So uh, you did say you wanted to see them, so I'm going to show you the dies and the stamps and the stamping I did. I didn't really make anything with them, but I just tried stamping them. But before I do that, let me show you what else I have on my table. I had um, gone to Joann's. I was up in that area and I stopped at Joann's and just to look because, you know, I don't get to look in there very often. And they had a bunch of novelty fabrics, so I looked at them and I was specifically looking for Raggedy Ann. Not that I'm um, going to be making a Raggedy Ann journal really soon, but, you know, I just kind of keep an eye out for things and uh, start collecting. And I already have a bunch of Raggedy Ann stuff, so and I could not find any Raggedy Ann fabric, but they had quite a few bolts of Wizard of Oz fabric and I just selected these two. I thought these were ones that would work well in a junk journal. This looks very Andy Warhol-ish, doesn't it? And this one has a lot of quotes, but I don't think they're all like this. Well, maybe the, sc maybe the Scarecrow said, ain't it the truth? Yeah. Yeah, there it is again, ain't it the truth? A real heart. So that's really cute. And then while I was there, I saw some um, <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland fabric. So I picked these two up. And there were more. They're so cute. So I even looked for some floral calicos that I thought would be good for a Raggedy Ann journal and nothing, nothing struck my fancy. But when I went to the flea market, and I know I showed these to you, but they were with the, I bought those uh, square quilt pieces, quilt tops and a few pieces of fabric and these were the two pieces of fabric and I just thought these are great for the Raggedy Ann calicos so I will put these with my Raggedy Ann collection and then I showed you this that I got this yesterday <clears throat> when I got those two um, scrapbooks with the greeting cards so now I have all this Raggedy Ann fabric I can use I have to wash this these are already washed but then I will get all those put away into my little collections that I'm building for those projects. So now let me show you. Oh, wait, I wasn't done. I've talked about the uppercase magazines and they have a book collection and it's alphabetical. So every now and then, I think every year they, I don't know if it's three or four books they come out with every year. And I don't buy all of them, but I have a lot of them because they're not cheap. But when I saw Rag and Pulp, Creativity with Paper, I thought, I need this one. So they come with this little strip and a paper cover that you can remove. And it has images of shredded paper here and looks like pleated paper here. Oh yeah, it looks like an umbrella parasol. And then they open right up into a poster size. You could cut this up and use it. This looks like marbled paper. So they all come with a pretty book jacket like that. And this is the real cover of the book. It has handmade paper and marbled paper. And I haven't really had a chance to go through it. I did look at some of it, but just a quick glimpse. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it because I want to show you my... Look at these ducks that are made with um, like a twisted paper. I thought she showed. 
an example of the twisted paper before it was made into something, but I guess not. It's twisted and woven and I don't know, it's manipulated, but she makes ducks, <laughs> among other things. So there's lots of different techniques uh, highlighted in here. I don't think it has instructions in how to do them, but it's it's inspirational. You read about the artist and what their different crafts are, their different ways of using paper. Look how pretty that is. She's a paper cutting art artist based in Vancouver, Canada, Rachel Ash. Wow. She doesn't use a dye. So I just wanted to show that to you. So here's a stack of some of the books. I don't know how many they have yet. A multi-volume book series released in whimsical, non-alphabetical order on all manner of intriguing and creative topics. I believe, I, I know I have art supplies. I don't think I have yarn thread string and I don't have ceramics, but I have quilted, vintage life, ephemera, love that one, Printmaker, Botanica, Stitch Illo, and Feed Sacks. That's what got me into them, the Feed Sacks. So, there's that. Now, let's look at this. I don't need the whole stack here in front of me. Well, I showed you some of these in the when I was doing the process for my 50s journals because I stamped this whole sheet of labels and cut some of them out and used them on some of the ephemera that I made. So there's that. You did see that and I don't have the packaging so I don't know. I mean I don't have it right here with me so I don't I don't even know. I'm not going to link all this stuff. What I will do is um, link Elizabeth Craft Designs on Amazon. Because I saw someone doing something with an Elizabeth Craft design, and I don't remember if it was dies or stamps, but I looked her up on Amazon, and she had a bunch, so I ordered a bunch. And then some of these other things I ordered at different times. So this is what you saw me use in the 50s journal, this set. Um, this makes the pocket. So I used this pocket on the back page. And I made a few more to have in my stash. And then it makes some other things, so I will show you this stuff. Here's another pocket. On the back of each card, they have projects. And it's a little bit confusing because they use dies from other sets. You can't make these projects with just this set. But you get an idea of things you can do. And these are called Planner Essential Dies. I think all of the dies and stamps that I got from Elizabeth Craft Designs are Planner Essentials. So they're made for little planners. That's why there are these little holes in the side, which don't bother me. I think it's just a fun element. But I think anything you can make for a planner is also good there is also good for um, junk journals. And here's another one. So then I made the cards. It has three sizes of cards. And I made them. And then you get this. You can punch reinforcements out three at a time. And they're all different. This one has a dotted, like a stitch line. This one just has an embossed solid line. And this one has little dots, and they're all embossed. So you could do that twice and then get two of the same thing if you wanted to put it on front and back. And then you have all these other little pieces. Um, this goes with this. Yeah, this, it says. Um, and there's a heart. 
heart is around here somewhere, but there's a heart that goes there, and that's what it looks like. So you cut out this, and then you cut out the heart, and then you cut out the background and glue it all together. I just added the star here, and I stamped behind it with a stamp that I've had for years. And this one. So this one cuts out a background. Yeah, it cuts out the background and then the cherish every day. And um, it cuts this out too. Oh, that's the background. Yep. And then I had thought this was another reinforcement, but it is, it's a hole. So I saw in one of the pictures, sample pictures, that they took this and put it here and ran it through and it made a little hole or maybe it's up here I don't know but they made a little hole and put a reinforcement on it so you could be very creative with this set and make all kinds of fun things and this is have a name it's called planner essentials wave pocket Just keep all the product projects separate now. I'm going to have to put all of these in a container so I don't lose them. Hopefully I'll find the heart. Uh, here's I only got two die sets. Um, this one is... Oh, uh, Planner Essentials 21 Note Pieces. This one was... The other one was Planner Essentials 30. So I already put them in a container because there are a lot of little pieces. And I'll show you. I just got some scrap pieces out of my drawer that I have right here under the table that I use for making journal spots. See this has some ledger on it. They're just um, scrap paper that can be written on and I use them to back. Uh, some of my cards, you know, journal tags and things. So I got some scraps out, and that's what I used. Uh, so I cut these out of some cardstock, these little cards. And like I said, I didn't really make anything with them except for those journal cards I already showed you. I just have so many things to play with, and I wanted to show you this video, so I didn't really concentrate on making the completed project. But when you see this, there's so many pieces, and you and you look at it and you wonder, what is that for, and what is that for? Well, I don't even know yet, but I wanted to punch them out and show them to you. So there are several that have these little holes, and they're not to fit into anything. It's um, for decorative purposes. I guess I cut it out to be that way. This was a diary page, like a handmade, not a handmade, store-bought diary page. So it's got the lines, and I positioned it so that this um, border would show at the bottom, and then I would have the little holes at the top. And here's another piece that has this, the holes at the side. And then, of course, you can layer these up with all of these other pieces and other things that you have. There's a smaller piece. There's um, tabs, and I did it wrong. I did these both on the same paper. I just cut everything out because I didn't know what they were. When you cut them out, then you have a better idea. So I cut them out, and then I thought, well, I need a different color to go under that. And I thought I thought I chose this to be a background, to be the outline. But it cut out the background and not the outline, but it would work in there. It does show a little red. But I really, I have an issue with things like that, that you have to fold in half. It is really hard to fold that in half. I'll probably try to put it on my scoreboard and score it. But anyway, you get that tab and a smaller one. And I did the same thing here, cutting this out, thinking that it would be an outline for this piece. And it has this fun little shape that you could use this way or this way and just collage with all of these things. 
There's another piece with the holes. And another one of these cards. This is a tiny, tiny little pocket. Isn't it cute? I could put it on a card, I think. Yeah, I could put it on one of these cards. I guess I want it that way because the embossing is on this side. So it goes like that. And some tiny little tags. Look at this one. And an arrow. And I like this arrow. I think I saw it where they had it in the samples. Something like this, and then the arrow right on top of it, pointing down. Like that. And this arrow, oh, that's the same one, this one. And there are tiny little reinforcements. They must go on this. Mm -hmm. And these little tabs. And I saw them being used just like this, just on something as a decorative element, but they can be folded and wrapped around. That fits right over that hole too. So there's all kinds of elements to play with in that set. That's it for the dies. There's a lot of dies in each set though. This one is from Elizabeth Craft Designs again, Planner Essentials, and this one is CS235, all the details. There is a stamp in this set that does say all the details. So it has this long journaling card, and I had made some for, I forgot which journal now, it was a recent make, and this was, oh, the ice cream journals, and this was a, a piece that I had started, and then it got lost in all the shuffle, and it didn't get added into the journal, but I have it so I can finish it, and it has these reinforcements to punch a hole and add that. So that's what that looks like. It has first day, second day, third day, all the way through the seventh day. It says this week. And you can put the date right there if you want to. And then this sheet comes with more, this stamp set, comes with words and phrases and a bunch of reinforcements. So I stamped the reinforcements. A lot of them you know, when you have silicone, if you press down too hard on the, your paper, your surface that you're stamping on, it spreads out the silicone and makes it not very precise. Like, those those look blurry. I wouldn't use them. But a couple of them are still good. But they have words that make a circle. They say, love this life, live in the moment, lucky, 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 lucky. Um, documented now life is good and ha today, today, today story, story, story and those are so blurry I can't read them but there are also these so I took them off that I, I just stamped them put ink on this and pressed it down on the paper. And I'm using cut off pieces to do all this stamping. I've been cutting out um, a lot of digital ephemera so I have quite big pieces in the margins of these sheets so I didn't want to throw it away. So that's what I've been using to stamp on all this. So anyway I took some of the reinforcements off and put them on a little acrylic block and I got these. So there's a plaid and looks like a bingo board and gingham. I love the gingham one. And here's another number one. Number in a grid. 
and this one, you're one of a kind. That's what that one says. And this one is like a book text page. So they're fun. And the quotes says, the story, party time, a day in the life. Yes, this happened today. All the details, amazing day, simple pleasures. I use that one in the ice cream journals. Silver linings, this and that, and this is my life. This is a fun one. I liked it for the big journaling cards and the little spot there. And then these elements are fun too. And so this one is this stamp right here. This one is called Ink with Journaling Cards, CS280, and now you can see it better. So today's forecast, crafting with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. And I did have a little bit of trouble getting a really good stamp on, on these, where the solid part is, see. But I got this one finally, for the record. Love these moments. Having an artistic blast. I don't think I'll probably ever use that paper airplane, and probably not the push pin, but you never know. There's a bottle of ink here, and a brush. And this says, orders in this style. Just um, an element you can use in collage. Here's the other journaling stamp highlights from today. And I guess I thought, oh yeah, I did stamp the brush. There's that. This one, I wanted more for the words. I wasn't sure if I liked her just because of the perspective. It's like you're looking down on her and I wasn't sure if I would use that much and this is supposed to be like Denison labels and I wasn't sure about that either the way they're stacked up like that but I'll show you what I did with it and I like I like both of them uh, we have a couple definitions here and then just more phrases that you would use in uh, planners or junk journals this one is called noteworthy and there is the word there, noteworthy. This is a definition for write. Um, stationary. And I didn't stamp the other phrases except for here. So I stamped <coughs> those labels. And first I... <coughs> um, well, after I stamped them, then I took some of the stamps off of the, <clears throat> sorry, the um, acetate and laid them out. I wanted some that would fit. <clears throat> I'm getting a horse again. And while they were laid out on there, on this, I just laid them down. And then I just put the acrylic black on it <laughs> and then picked it up and they were stuck. They're very sticky on the back inked it and then carefully lined it up again and stamped it and I think that looks cute and then when I was getting ready to do this video I panicked a little bit when I picked this up you know to kind of line things up with the things that I had made and I thought where did the where did that stamp go it's missing and they're all missing and then I remembered that they were there they're not missing they're okay and look at the girl Look how nicely she stamped. I love her. So I did a whole bunch of her. This one has some more journaling spots and it has crayons. The other one had ink. This one has crayons. So I got this one. Jot down, jot it down, things to remember. Who, when, where. And then there's this ticket. You could stamp that on different colors. I've seen these kind of tickets in so many different colors. And these larger pieces I took out of my uh, scrap pile. That's the same, no, this one is documented, this happened. And you could circle the day of the week and then write. And the good life, I was just trying to get a good 
stamping of it, and I finally did. Some more of the tickets. This was a misprint card. That's what that came from. And then, again, I was trying to get the stamp, uh, crayons, and I finally got one. And this, I got two of them, and that was, I had to lay the paper on top of the stamp and do it. I just couldn't get that to stamp. But I did. And then there's another little ticket. So I thought, I've seen them in lots of colors also. So I found some tiny little scraps, little skinny strap, scraps, and that fit on there. So I stamped it in multiple colors. I'll cut them out. And I stamped the bigger ticket again, and then crayons, the label. And it does say, you are, you're a work of art. I didn't stamp that, and I didn't stamp the single crayon, I don't think. And then there's a little spiral notebook there, and a little copyright symbol that I think, um, because it's your work of art, you would put that, those together, I guess. And I cut out one of the crayon stampings, and then just just laid it on this ink pad or laid the ink pad on top of it. It's an ombre one with multiple colors. And there it is. Just to see what it looked like with color on it. So there's that one. This one is a fun one. It has rectangular journal spots. <clears throat> it has one through nine, zero one through zero nine, and then it's zero zero one through zero zero nine. If anybody knows why that is, you can tell me. I thought it was one through thirty one or something for circling. But it does say weekend and then it has all the days of the week and then all these little stamps. So I just stamped them on these strips that I had that were uh, left over from cutting out digitals. They were the perfect perfect width for these. So I'll get these all cut out and have them ready to use. And I can add color at some time when I'm ready to use them. But I cut out one of each of these and made this because I saw this done in one of their samples where they had two or three of these lined up. And this came from the next set we're going to look at. It says 100% real. I just stamped, uh, glued it to yellow grid paper. This one is Sidekick Stamps 1. This one was Sidekick Stamps 2. CS177 CS 176. So this one has some tags with the diagonal stripe design, and then this one says today's notes. And this one had the other one had days of the week. This one has all of the months, and then it says you're a star, 100% real, happy, and place. You could mix those words up into different combinations. I used a different color ink this time. Well, there's the today's notes. And then I used Versifying Claire in Warm Breeze to stamp these. This little tag says, keep the moment. And then it just has uh, a little number here, 065, I think, 1006, with a dash in there. So it's like the item number of the tag it's supposed to be or something but I think that's really cute and then there's that one and I pun I stamped 100% and punched it out and inked around it and that's all I did with that one for now but I know I'll play with that a lot now these are not uh, Elizabeth what is it? Elizabeth Craft Designs. 
but this was suggested, you know, as I was looking at stamps and putting them in my cart, this was suggested to me, and it was pretty cheap. And it's from Hero Arts. So I thought I would play with it, or, you know, get it and just have fun with it. And it's just these dots. But I stamped one of them. I stamped this one. So the dots are more concentrated in one area, and then they kind of disperse. Here it's in the center and disperses out. This one is at the bottom or along the side. This one, again, at the bottom or along the side, but it's oriented differently. And this one is just all concentrated dots. And these are the only two that I played with today. So this one is this square one. And I took a stamp from another set and just stamped a bullseye in the center. I was thinking I could stamp a flower in there or something, but the bullseye was right here, so I did that. And then I took this one. I think it, these two are the ones I played with. So I took this one and stamped it in four different colors side by side. And then it's concentrated and then disperses out. And I took uh, another stamp from another set and stamped it and glued it onto yellow. It's supposed to be a trapezoid. It's not supposed to be straight, just so you know. Every moment is a fresh beginning, T.S. Eliot. So that can be a nice journaling card or a pocket or something. This is where I got the bullseye from. This is a Kathy Holden set that I just got. I have a bunch of hers, but I didn't have this one. And this is um, Reading Matter, is the name of it. Reading Matter. So there's a stamp that says Reading Matter. So that would be stamped on an envelope if you're mailing some reading material. So this is um, kind of like a mail theme. This is a label for printers and stationers, correspondence. Enclosure, you would stamp that uh, or put that sticker on something, an envelope that had something enclosed in it, along with whatever. You want to make sure you're looking for the enclosure. Inspected by, entered, stock, sales, factory, and ledger, and all these other different fun label y things. It's an arrow. So the only thing I've used out of this is that bullseye, which I just did today. And this set is Globe, Global Land, G-L-O-B-E-L, -E Land. And these are quotes. I think, I think they're all from authors. And some of them were used in the book, books that they wrote, and maybe some were just their quotes. But I like them. I've had this in my cart for a while, so... Just went ahead and got it. A loving heart is the truest wisdom. Charles Dickens. Keep reading. It's one of the most marvelous adventures that anyone can have. Lloyd Alexander. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. Jane Austen. In the book Sense and Sensibility. All the world is made of faith and trust in pixie dust. J.M. Barry, Peter Pan. And of course, this Lewis Carroll quote from Alice in Wonderland, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All of the best people are. I believe that was the Cheshire Cat. And Oscar Wilde said, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. This one I didn't get out and play with. This is another Elizabeth Craft design, CS214 Paper Love. And it has... These two little botanical looking labels. They have florals and numbers. Definition for paper with the word paper superimposed over it. La vie est belle. Life is beautiful. For the record. Who, where, when, and notes. Love, family, and you. So we've got a little time and I've got some more scraps. And I'm just going to stamp some of these. I don't know if I'll do any of these.
and I'm going to be quiet while I stand because my throat hurts from talking. I'll do that in brown. It's very light. That one was dark. Is this drying up already? Nope. <laughs> the pad was... It's askew in there. I was trying to push it back where it belongs. Got ink on me. Hmm. I don't know why it's like that. a different ink. Mm. I don't want a distress ink. Beautiful. got these Versaclairs uh, Michaels, I think, recently. They were all on clearance. All of the colors that I got. Oh, beautiful. I think I don't want to stamp that on a scrap. I think that's something I would scrap stamp onto project. Let's make a journal card with this. Nice. Might as well do another one while I have it out. That one looks better. 
better. It's a little darker. I might need to replace this. Had it for quite a while and I use it a lot. So those other the words and things I'll save for different types of projects. Now, these little ones are perfect for these little scraps that I have. And I think these would be great to use on coffee dyed paper scraps. But this is what I have here with me today, so this is what I'm using. I won't do all of these. We just have a couple minutes left. I saw one on here I was going to grab. I think it was this one. So I've got ink all over my the tips of my fingers from spending a couple hours doing this. J. L. Reagan and Company Publishers, Chicago. That's cool. I like that. That'll be a fun addition to um, collages and yeah, I'll have a lot of fun with that. I like that. It's good size. Oh, I like. I'm backwards. I like this. It says number. use it in conjunction with some numbers that I may have. just want to see what it looks like stamped. Isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to... Um, I had my little paper punch out because I used it. Did I actually, nope, that's here. I was going to say, did I actually put it away? No, I did not. This is a little label for indelible ink. famous indelible ink. It's a little too big, but I think the next one will be a little too small. Yeah, that's too small. This is one inch. This is, I don't know, doesn't say. Must be three quarters. So I'll just cut those out, I guess. Let me see what it looks like punched. couldn't quite center it because it was too far away from the edge of the paper. But if I had that in the center of the circle and then maybe edged it with a metallic paint or something or any kind of color might make it look like an ink label. 
Okay, so this is fun. These are little fun pieces. I have to stamp the reading matter stamp and then I'm going to let you go. After my voice recovers later, maybe I will um, be able to do a video showing the supplies that I have for my next journal project. And I want to say thank you for your interest in what I purchased. And I know that there was a lot here, but I just kind of splurged <laughs> and had fun. So I'll have, now I have fun, get to have fun playing. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you'll come back and see how some of these uh, stamps get incorporated into the journals and projects that I make. And I will see you in the next video. And I hope you have a creative day today. Bye-bye. <laughs>